Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. In the day after video, usually we split it in two parts. The first part is the feeling, what we thought about the game. We speak openly, we discuss about the beautiful things, the bad things that we saw. And then we go to the second part where we analyze the tactics. Uh, we go into details, stats of the game, but also average position, pass accuracy and so on. It's the second video in a row. After Benfica, this time versus Monza, where we will absolutely skip, especially the second part, because if after Benfica we played 20 minutes and it was not enough to speak about stats, details, average position, graphics and so on, because a game, as you know, is played for 90 minutes, this time historical loss for Juventus, historical win for Monza, that I repeat, is a neopromossa squadra, a team that is for the first time coming from Serie B, the first time playing in Serie A, first time that they are able to win a game in their home, but also in Serie A in their history. They have beaten Juve, this time we didn't even play 20 minutes, we didn't play at all. We'll go through the Italian papers that all of them on the front pages, but also inside the papers were super harsh with Juventus. I have to say that they were correct. And probably all of them with different words are giving the feeling and what the people, the supporters are living at the moment. Difficult times to be a Juventino. We are angry. We are sad. We have a lot of emotions. Not a lot of people remained that believed in the project, the coach, the company as a club in Juventus doing a beautiful season. We are in a historical low point of Juventus in terms of performances, in terms of results, in terms of environment, in terms of everything. Everything looks like there are some cracks. Cracks, we will come back on that word in a few minutes, so we will start immediately with the paper. First of all, I want you to show some support to the channel because it's not easy to be here. Game after game, bad performance after bad performance, but we have to show one thing. That's the only thing that we can do. It's staying together. That doesn't mean that we have to be friendly, nice, kind, and believe in something, in a miracle. No. But staying together as Juventini and speaking between us to maybe have some light, to find some light in the end of a tunnel. A tunnel that at the moment looks really long, like Il San Gotardo from Switzerland to Italy. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, tunnel in Europe. It's difficult to see the end. But at the end, there is a light. Let's try in these moments during lives and videos to try to find some light, especially when now it's difficult. We start with Corriere dello Sport. So maximum of like, subscribe to the channel. We start with Corriere dello Sport. We speak about Napoli that yesterday won versus a Milan. We don't care. We don't want to focus too much on the other team because they are far away from Juve. So let's speak about Juve. Bufera su Allegri. There is a storm on Allegri. Max gone. Folia. The words of Arriva Bene before the game of Monza, before the historical loss, Arriva Bene said, Max gone. It's something totally crazy. We have to pay attention. We have to stick together. We have to give chiarezza, being clear. But that's maybe the problem. That Xavier Jacopelli, the ex director of Tutto Sport, and this time he's speaking on Corriere dello Sport, he's saying, Pedalare, working. Like Landucci said, yes, stare zitti, staying silent, probably it's not the moment. This is why some supporters or a lot of supporters are angry, because we don't know what is the plan. We are waiting for an answer of Juventus and at the moment looks like there is no answer given to the supporters. Probably internally, yes, but it's not clear. And chiarezza, being clear, is an important word when things are going bad. Gazzetta dello Sport is giving another title, another perspective. They are going into sotto accusa, under, uh, under accusation, not only Allegri, but also Inzaghi. Again, yesterday, Inzaghi and Inter lost 3-1 versus Udinese. I couldn't even smile. I didn't care because they are another Serie A. Today, we have to focus on our own Serie A that is not really beautiful. Minus one versus last year after match day seven. Allegri is under accusation and that's what we have to speak about. Allegri is alone and he is also confused. He is also feeling betrayed by Di Maria that yesterday received that red card. Let's speak about that. Monza is doing history. Yes, they did. Tutto Sport and this is probably the biggest title of the day. Tutto Sport that is 
close to Juventus, the closest paper to Juventus. Tutto Sport is not taking a defense of someone or whatever, they are saying Juventus prigionieri di Allegri. You are prisoners of Allegri, you are in jail, you can't move. A Juve that is totally in depression, Juve totalmente in depressione, complice Di Maria, also Di Maria didn't help yesterday with his red card, before the game arriva bene, confirmed the coach Allegri, and again some words with the supporters, before and after the game we will come back on that, because we see that Gazzetta dello Sport is saying Juve quante crepe, how many cracks, how many problems, the betrayal of Di Maria, no leader in the team, Allegri alone and confused, Max, attenzione, occhio, attenzione alle crepe, attenzione, attenzione to the cracks with the logo of Juve, with a lot of cracks, what are they, again, they repeat the betrayal of Di Maria after, in the first half with that reaction, sign of being really nervous, not only Di Maria, but showing a Actually, the state of Juventus at the moment. Senza leader, there are no leader. Maybe one, only one. It is Danilo that before the game went to the supporters alone to ask to calm down, to say we will show you, we will go out of that of that game. The problem is that we saw no reaction yesterday, absolutely not. We will come back on the reaction that we were waiting for. La società non cambia. The club Juventus is not changing technical staff at the moment. We continue with Allegri because it's a choice but also a kind of obligation. We know it. Salary, really important. Probably lack of possibilities, lack of options of the market, I heard the names of Tuchel, Pochettino, mm, not 100% convinced, why, because financially you have to play double, but also not sure if they are the right uh, solutions, when we take a solution, a definitive solution, we have to have an A plan, not a B plan, attenzione, they are also giving a title, Juve Virtuale, a virtual Juve, these were the words of Allegri, in that conversation that has leaked and became an interview, with Mario Sconcerti, they are seeing a virtual Juve, what does that mean virtual Juve? A Juve that is not here, not on paper, not on the field, missing big pieces like Rabiot, like uh, Pogba, Chiesa, Locatelli, these were the names mentioned by Allegri, but uh, they are going, no, it's not a virtual Juve, it's an unreal Juve, because these moments, it's really long time that we were living them, that we were experiencing them as Juventini, a lot of new generation Juventini, because of anagraph, that means that you are younger, you never experienced older Juves that were in these modifical moments, it is what it is, there is a first time for everything, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's now. We have to go out of it. The problem is we can't go out of it without reaction. Other whistles from the supporters after the game. Big whistles to the players, but also to Allegri that was not on the bench. He was watching the game. He was present in the stands. He received a lot of insults, whistles like the player. Everyone was there in front of them with really sad faces, as we did versus Benfica. The supporters are worried, but they're also annoyed because receiving the the sorry, the excuse of the players is one thing, is great if you show a reaction the game after. It was worse versus Monza. From the first minute of the game, there were absolutely no reaction. And that's why the supporters are angry. Marchisio, ex-Juve, symbol of Juve, legend of Juve, spoke after the game and he said, the problem is not that Juventus is losing. Losing happens unfortunately this is football it happens if you lose versus monza without sh doing any attempts on goals without shotting towards the goal this is a problem there is a clear division in the team between the coach between the club between the team the players and we see it also with all the words that has been said words that normally should not have been coming on the papers because we said it zitti e pedalare saying silent and working Unfortunately, that first thing of staying silent was not respected. Allegri, that apparently, according to rumors, will also be feed because it was absolutely not agreed with the company to speak. Con una rosa importante, with an important team, because you can say whatever you want, especially individually, we have a better team than Monza. We cannot even take in an excuse. Even if we were, we were with 10 men, it's absolutely not an excuse. The performance that we saw yesterday, Juventus should play better. These were the words of Marquisio and he said 
you were stronger in terms of individualities. Uh, if you are looking at the ratings in Tuto Sport, they are speaking about really disaster ratings. Tuto Sport is giving the best man Perin with a six, Vlaovic with a four, Landucci, but also Allegri, the technical staff, a four, 4.5 for Miretti, McKenny already said a four, a disaster, a disaster, McKenny, 5.5 for De Ciglio, and so on and so on and so on, three for Di Maria. We continue with Gazzetta dello Sport ratings that are even worse, but when I say even worse, probably probably even better. I have to agree with Gazzetta. Imagine Beppe being agreeing with Gazzetta dello Sport. This is strange. This is unicum. This happens today, unfortunately, after the game of Monza, because we see it. And the Chilio 4, 3 for Di Maria, 4.5 for Gatti, 4.5 for Bremer, 5 for Danilo, 4 for, for uh, Paredes, McKenny, Vlaovic, Kostic, 4.5 for Miretti and Moiskin. Disaster ratings, 4 for Juventus, I would even give a 3 over 2 yesterday because we didn't play. Vlaovic, he's a problem at the moment, like the team, he's reflecting the team on the field with no goals since the last 4 games and this starts to be a real problem. Di Maria yesterday, he wrote on Instagram that he was sorry, that he said it was my mistake. It was my mistake and my entire responsibility if yesterday we lost because I left the team alone in such an important moment of the season. I want to say thank you Di Maria for the beautiful words. It's a pity that you acted like that. We are all human. It can happen. The thing is that I want to say you are not the only one at fault. Don't take all the responsibilities even if we have to admit that Di Maria we were expecting something else since the beginning of the season. The signing of Di Maria we were expecting another Di Maria that at the moment except of these 60 minutes versus Sassuolo we were not able to see due to injuries due to whatever it is the case. Speaking about injuries injuries what is the solution for Juve there are two possible rumors the first one is what we will do short term immediately means actually promoting even more giving even more responsibility to Andreini that is the head of performances that came in the summer was actually supervising all the performance physical and so on from all the teams of Juventus women young next gen whatever first team he will receive even more responsibility and staying closer with the athletic part and athletical uh, physical trainers from Juventus he will supervise everything so that means that he will check why Juventus is not running what is happening with Juventus even more closer and trying to find solutions that's the first step analyzing every every point and every detail especially now that there will be the international break trying to put a Juventus a bit more informed that's the first thing with Allegri staying at the club the other rumors that we are hearing because financially we have some problem because we are not sure about the A solution is having a B plan like Montero from under 19 to put him on the, on top of Juventus if the results are continuing to be like what we saw that means not great at all if there is no sign of improvement Improvement, the word and the name of Montero is starting to be present more and more and more. The only thing that at the moment is blocking it a bit is that we don't want to do the same mistake as we did with Pirlo. So patience will be needed. This is everything I wanted to say, except that uh, the problem is that we want to work really hard, but 14 players will miss because they will travel around the world with Di Maria and Paredes in Argentina. They will fly to USA, Brazil, Bremer and Danilo, not Alexandro that is injured, Quadrado will leave, Bonucci and Gatti will leave with Italy, Nicolo Fagioli and Miretti will leave with the under-21, Kostic and Vlaovic with Serbia, Szczesny and Milik with Poland, and USA Weston McKennie. So all these players will miss and we will try to focus with who remain. Uh, hopefully we can change the mentalities, hopefully we can increase a bit the physical conditions of these players. The last thing I want to say is, what about my opinion? What is the opinion of Beppe? Well, my opinion at the moment is... Uh, the papers are right that they are not uh, happy. The supporters are right that they are not happy. I am not happy. I always said I don't care about the solution, but I want a solution. I don't care about the who, I care about the club. My club is Juventus. Find a solution and turn this situation because at the moment it's hard for everyone. We will stay together, we will stick together and we'll try to do better. That's what we have to do. We'll try to do better. Being honest, criticizing when it's not doing okay, but let's hope that we can praise a bit more because at the moment there is not a lot of things to praise. Andiamo, as always, and even more now, forza Juve.